Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series on the Akai MPC. We've just uh, had a drop for native instruments plugins. Complete surprise and shock to me, but I think it's pretty awesome that Akai is continuing to do some cross promotion and uh, looking at other companies that they can add in. Um, I went through the registration process and learned a whole bunch that I wanted to share with you guys. So first of all, you're gonna if you do go get this content, you're gonna find that there is uh, Analog Dreams cloud supply and natched and you're going to see that they're going to show up it's probably hard to read through obs but those three are going to show up as actual instrument plugins in your mpc once you uh, buy them and get them activated i'll go over that in a second the other thing is there's a uh, haze and faded reels are both like the traditional mpc uh, expansion where you're just going to get a bunch of files with folders and uh, programs so um couple things. One, it does not look like there's any cross-grade promotion. So if you already own these uh, in native instruments for like machine or through complete, you're going to have to pay full price to get them. Uh, I would advise you if you already own them, maybe just reach out to native instruments. Maybe they can do something for you. Um, you never know. It doesn't hurt to ask. Um, that said, a couple things you want to know. Um, I was worried that my native instruments email does not match my a Kai Pro or in music email address. I just happened to, it's a, you know, 10 years difference since when I set things up, use a different email address now. And I was worried when I bought them that the uh, email was going to get associated through the back end. That's not the case. Once you order the content, you're just, you're going to get an one, maybe two email, one or two emails uh, that are an activation email. It's going to have the codes that you need to add into the in music app, or you might, I think you could do the instrument ones, and activate them through the MPC. But honestly, the InMusic app, if you have access to a computer, is probably the best way. So you're going to get an email from whatever address you have from Native Instruments. But that email then will have just activation codes and you just log into your InMusic uh, software that's going to be attached to your Akai Pro account. And you enter that in. Um, if it's a plugin, you're going to just see that it's activated and added. And then when you go into your preferences, and go to activations, it's going to be your usual. It's going to say activate in here, and then it's going to have a little thing that'll do download. So assuming you've done that before, it's going to get those three, the, uh, what is it? The, again, it's the analog dreams, cloud supply and natched. So I, I found over Wi-Fi, it took quite a while to download and extract, but once it was done, it's done. You'll be all set and you can use this. Why is Subfactory not activated? Well, let's activate it. Anyway, uh, with that said, that was a pretty easy process. And that showed up as one email that was all these plugins. For whatever reason, they sent a second email that is the expansion packs, like the downloadable ones that show up in your expansions when you double tap browse and go into expansions. So you can see I've got uh, hazy days here. And I forget where faded. The faded reels, I think, is further down. But it's... It's in here. Anyway, you're going to get a second email. That one you cannot download through the MPC or activate it through the MPC. You're going to have to do that one for sure through the InMusic uh, application. And once you've got it activated, you'll scroll down through your expansions tab and you'll be able to find where it has a new native instrument section. You'll just go click download. It's going to download it and then you're going to have a button that'll say like show in Finder or show in Explorer or whatever. Click that button, it's going to open it up, and then you just have a PDF for the instructions. You're going to copy that folder in there beside the PDF into the root folder of either your SSD, your, your that's internal, maybe your SD card, wherever you're keeping your samples, and copy that into a the folder called expansions. Just check the PDF if you have any questions. It works just fine. But uh, yeah, I wanted to just give you guys a heads up. That, that stuff's out there. Uh, it's not too scary to get installed or set up or anything, but it, you will want to probably do it through a computer using the InMusic software. And once you're done, you'll be all set. Anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by. Keep making music, keep having fun. Remember, if it sounds good, it is good. And peace.